<sighs> part of part of my reasoning behind like delaying this tutorial as much as I can. Is I always feel like I suck vertically, ex or not vertically, verbally explaining how tricks and stuff work. It, I very much learn like see and do versus like how other people learn by just like explanation and whatnot. So the fact that most of this game is like, you see it, you do it kind of stuff. I feel like it's very hard to explain verbally exactly what's happening all the time. So for all your bolts and anchors in really any category, for the most part what you want to do is you're going to want to focus on shooting all five bonus targets throughout level. For any percent all gold bolts in particular, you also want to focus on shooting every enemy as you can, because at the end of the auto scroller, you uh, have to have 35,000 bolts. You have to have 35,000 bolts. If you have 34,000 and some change, it should be fine, but you're going to want to make up bolts before you get to the next weapon vendor. So. Throughout this whole auto scroller, I'm going to be showing you where all the bonus targets are. I might even circle them in editing, I don't know. I might, I might not. But it's really, again, just see it and do it sort of thing. Like, there's a lot of things that, to me, are second nature, but I know a lot of people have trouble with them, like, just looking at it, so that's kind of why I want to make the tutorial. That way people can see and, like, hear exactly what they're supposed to be doing. It's going to come apparent in about two planets, like, why tutorials needed but all in all it isn't as hard as most people would take it out to be if that makes sense also hi asparagus I know I, I know I didn't say hi to you but like, I was in the middle of my thought process there I'm sorry about that Yo, thank you for the tidbit, Jazzer. I've always, I've always been nervous about making a tutorial. Like commentary has never been really my strong suit, and I know that. <laughs> Asparagus, it's it's going to be part of the video. I'm going to be explaining movement as the video progresses. It's also like part of my plan, really. Um, but yeah, as you saw, we got our first gold bull by shooting that dead target. Right here, we have our first set of RNG in the game, other than the really the first boss. So what we're looking for is when he gets into his third phase. So we're looking for after he does the next floor. For him to do like a mouth laser attack. Which he's not gonna do for his first shot. When he does his mouth laser attack, I'm gonna explain why we want it so badly. Alright, so this mouth laser opens up his weak spot. It's gonna show up in his eye right here. 
and then once he exposes it, we're just gonna lay into it. So it should be exposing it itself right about now. We're just gonna lay into it, fire as much as we can into it, and just keep firing. All in all, the RNG on this boss isn't the worst. The other two bosses definitely have like more time loss associated with them. The most you can really lose in that fight if you're not doing attacks optimally is around maybe 5 seconds at most. <laughs> 